is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another weekly video. And today we are going to be discussing a very, very important topic, especially with a lot of you beginners and a lot of you who are trying to find your ideal audience. And so today's topic, we're going to be diving into how to actually research and find your ideal audience through multiple different methods so that you can be as efficient and effective as possible with your Facebook advertising and really overall with all the ad platforms that you utilize. So let's jump right in. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, in the intro, we are going to be diving into the audience research side of your guys's business, which is so important and something that so many people overlook. But before we jump into today's video, I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. I know that it's been super cool for myself to see this channel really start to grow, seeing more consistent subscribers, which is awesome. It means that you guys are, you know, obviously doing your job and being able to pump this channel to the, uh, to the homepage on YouTube. And so it's just, it really means a lot to me. So before we dive in, I just want to thank you guys so, so much and continue to comment on these videos. Tell me what sort of content you guys want me to make, because realistically, anything that I can do to help you guys out more with building your guys' e-commerce businesses, whether you are a brand new business owner, you're a beginner, or you're someone that is, you know, far down the line making maybe millions. I'm sure there's something that I can help you out with. So thank you guys so much. And let's dive right into today's topic. All right. So e-commerce audience research, it's something that's, you know, not talked about a whole lot just because it's, you know, a very boring topic, but it is very, very important. It's something that if you don't understand who your ideal audience is, it's going to be very, very tough for you to be effective in your Facebook advertising. Imagine having, you know, a beauty business and you're targeting people who are into, you know, electronics. It just doesn't make sense, right? So you need to know who your audience is and you need to know how to find them on the platforms that you're advertising on because every, every platform is different. Every platform is going to work differently with their algorithms as well too. So you need to know exactly how to find them and how to target them. So today we are going to be covering really the sort of methods and strategies that my team personally uses, and it has nothing to do with the actual ad platforms themselves, which is really, really cool. So this is totally unique. This is something that you can, you know, take an hour to do just before you launch your campaigns. It's a part of the preparation process. It's really, really important. And so, Without further ado, let's dive into the first thing, which is utilizing Google Trends. So a lot of you are already familiar with Google Trends, but Google Trends is super, super awesome. It's a really great tool because it allows you to actually see trends in products, in industries, and even give you an in-depth look into your demographics, whether it be age ranges, uh, genders, locations, anything. So it really gives you a really broad idea of all the different demographics and people that are into the products that you are currently investigating and in currently investing into within your business. The other thing I really love about Google Trends is the fact that you can be able to really find different related topics that maybe are within your industry or within your niche that could really help out. And so a really good advantage of this is if you're maybe you're targeting again, beauty and cosmetics, you know, related industries may you know, pop up on Google Trends. And those are also things that you can use for targeting, especially within Facebook, within TikTok, things that are more interest based. And so it's just going to give you a lot more variety and a lot more ideas in terms of your angles that you want to utilize, maybe the offers that you're trying to implement into your campaigns. And so just keep this in mind, utilize Google Trends as effectively as possible, as much as possible, because again, if it's telling you trends, you can really start to stay ahead of the curve and start to find really cool, unique products before they really start to hit that bell curve, which is really important. If you find a product that isn't trending quite yet, but it's starting to become on you know people's radar, if you start launching and, and marketing that first, obviously you're gonna have a huge angle and corner on the market. So definitely utilize Google Trends, and that is tip number one. Now tip number two to your audience research is going to your competitors' websites and actually looking at the reviews on the product landing pages, on the website landing page, and start to see how their audience, which is also your shared audience, how they are reacting to those products and how they're reacting to the brand. This is such a simple way 
to begin finding cool little nuanced things that you would never even think of when it comes to your audience. And I tell you, even myself included, when we are targeting new e-commerce businesses, trying to generate leads for ourselves, we're always going to our, our competitors' websites, their, their funnels, their landing pages. We're reading the reviews. We're investigating what people in the e-commerce industry are talking about, what they need, things that they want. And so these are really cool things that you can begin to find out just by reading the reviews. You'll start to see things like, you know, your, your audience commenting on certain products, the ingredients, ingredients, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. And again, these are things that you can begin to use in your creatives, in your ad copy, and to be able to be able to target your people a lot better. Okay. Now my third tip for you guys is again, very much tying into going to your competitors' websites, but instead of doing that, go to Amazon and search up your industry, search up some of the products in your industry that you're potentially selling and go read those reviews as well too. Now doing that on Amazon is obviously going to help you out quite a bit because there's, you know, there's so many products on Amazon and there's so many people shopping from Amazon that there is literally thousands and thousands and thousands of reviews there. So if you actually go and walk through some of those landing pages, walk through some of those products, you'll begin to find out a lot about, again, what your customer is saying about those products, what they enjoy about them, what they don't enjoy. And again, these are things that you can tie into the angles that you utilize within your ad campaigns, within your creatives, your copy, your headlines, literally everything. Okay. So making sure that you're reading what your audience is, you know, is liking what they're not liking about the products, about the industry is super, super good. It's going to, it's going to really allow you to keep your fingers on the pulse of your ideal customer and ensure that you are again, staying ahead of the curve, making sure that everything your brand is doing is going, you know, with the flow of where your audience really wants to start purchasing from and, and what they really want to start adopting into purchasing from themselves. Now, I know that was a lot. I know I kind of rambled on, but I just, I really want to make it clear that the only way that you're going to really understand who your audience is and what they want is just by literally, you know, engaging with them and going to places that they are engaging with, right? So your Amazon, your Amazon landing pages, your product landing pages on your competitors and things like that. So just make sure you're really, you know, figuring out where your audience is congregating and go in there and start engaging with them and start reading up on what it is that they are discussing. Now, my fourth and final tip for you guys is a paid option, but my team personally uses this platform. And again, we are not sponsored by this platform at all. I just want to recommend it to you guys because it is very, very useful, especially with Facebook advertising. And that website is called connect.io. And I will link it, um, in, in the description below and I'll, I'll have it pop up on the screen as well too when I edit the video. But connect.io is such an amazing tool because it really allows you to break down, you know, what your niche is, the audience sizes that you're looking to, you know, find within your interests that you're gonna be using. And then it shows you suggested audiences. It gives you audiences that you would never even think of unless you literally had this tool. And what it's allowed us to do is just really find like micro niches that we can start stacking or utilizing, you know, one interest per ad set. However, we're kind of going about our campaigns and it'll allow us to find those audiences that just like are untapped. It's really, really cool. And we use it literally all the time. And every single time we use it, we just find the craziest interests to actually target. And we always find that those audiences do very, very well. So I will link it in the description below and I'll also link it in this video as well too, but connect.io, I highly recommend it. I think when we utilized it, it was, it was like $97. It was a one-time payment and it gave us lifetime access. So it may or may not have gone up. Um, I, I can't even see the price anymore of what it costs, but uh, it's it's a one-time payment. It gives you lifetime access. And honestly, it, it's some of the greatest, you know, interest and tools that we currently utilize as an agency. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. I know it was a little bit of a short one, but I just really wanted to get this out because obviously we're in the middle of Q4. There's so many things that you guys are trying to do with, you know, conversions and converting on your guys' audiences. And I know audience research is a really, really big one. And so if you're able to find your audience and you're able to resonate with them just by engaging with them, seeing what they're talking about, you know, amongst each other, it's just going to help you a lot with getting those conversions that you guys are you know, striving for within Q4. So I really hope today's video can help you out before you guys exit off, click off this video. I want to really ask you guys to please like the video if you got a lot of value from it. And then do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, in the beginning of this video, we have been growing so much. I know we're at, you know, 215 ish subscribers when I'm, when I'm, you know, filming this video, but, uh, it's just, it helps a ton. It helps push this video to the, to the homepage of YouTube and uh, it helps grow the subscriber base. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.